In this lecture, you will learn how to handle a rejected promise. If you remember, when a promise is settled, it has two states. Either that promise is resolved or rejected. If the promise is resolved, it will return the resolved data. On the other hand, if the promise is rejected, it will return an error. So let's understand how to handle the error returned by a rejected promise in this lecture. And to understand this, I'm going to create a function and let's call this function get country info. And from within this function, we are going to make an Ajax call using fetch API. So let's pass a parameter to this function and let's call it country. All right. And from within this function, we are going to make an Ajax call using fetch API. All right. And to this fetch API, we have to provide the URL from where we want to get the data. And for this, again, I'm going to use the rest countries API and I will use this endpoint. Okay, so this endpoint is going to give us information related to a given country by its name. So let's use this endpoint here for this fetch API. And instead of name, let's use the value of the country parameter. So country. All right. Now, if you remember, the fetch API returns us a promise. So fetch API returns a promise. Okay, so this fetch API is going to return us a promise. And let's store that promise in a variable. And let's call it promise itself. All right. Now, when the promise returned by this fetch API is resolved, in that case, we can use it by using then method on this promise. So let's say promise dot then. Okay. And to this then method, we will pass one callback function. All right. And here, let's simply log the value which this promise will return when it is resolved. Okay, so when this promise is resolved, it will return the resolved data and we will get that data in the parameter of this callback function. So let's call its parameter response. So we will get the resolved data of this promise in this response parameter and we simply want to log that response. So let's log it using console.log. All right. So here we have created a function. The next thing which I want to do is I want to create, I want to display a button in this web page. And for that, I'll go to index.html file. And here I already have a button which is right now commented. So I will uncomment this and I'll save the changes. And we should see a button here in our web page. Now on this button, I want to add an event listener which will listen to the click event. So let's copy the ID of this button. Let's go to script.js file and let's add an event listener on this display country button. So I'll say document dot get element by ID. All right. And we are going to pass the ID of this button. And on this, I want to add an event listener. And this event listener should listen to click event. And once this click event happens, that means when this display country button is clicked, we want to execute a callback function. And from within this callback function, we are simply going to call this function. Okay. So let's call this function and let's pass value for its parameter. So let's see USA. Let's save the changes. And now when I click on this display country button, it should display the response which this API will return. Okay. Now this fetch API, we made an Ajax call to this API and this API is returned us this data. Okay. And this data has been returned in the form of a promise by this fetch API. Okay. So this fetch API has returned us a promise and that promise was resolved. And once it is resolved, this callback function of then method get executed. 
okay and inside this callback function we are simply logging the value which this promise has this result promise has returned and we have that value logged here now what if the promise returned by this fetch api is rejected that means we did not get the data which we have requested for so let's see that so in order to get a rejected promise what we can do is we can simulate the no internet connection and to simulate no internet connection we can go to network tab and here you see this online okay so you can set it to offline and in this case it will simulate the no net no internet connection uh, situation all right now let's go to console tab let's clear this console all right so this time since we are simulating the no internet connection when this fetch api will make a request it will not get the data because we don't have any internet connection so in this scenario this fetch api will return a rejected promise all right and we are not handling that rejected promise anywhere in our program so if the promise is resolved we are handling it using this callback function of this then method but if the promise is rejected we are not doing anything here right so now if i click on this display country button you will see that we have an uncaught error here in our program and this error says type error failed to fetch all right so we want to handle this error in our program we want to catch this error and how can we do that well there are two ways the first way is that you can pass a second callback function to this then method okay so we can include a second callback function in this then method so the first callback function will be executed when the promise is resolved and the second callback function if we specify for this then method then it will be executed when the promise is rejected so let's say function and when the promise is rejected it will return the error and that will be we will get it inside the parameter of this callback function and let's call that parameter error all right and inside this function we simply want to alert the error like this all right so here we have passed two callback functions to this then method the first callback function will be executed when the promise returned by this fetch api is resolved and the second callback function will be executed when the promise returned by this fetch api is rejected all right we are using this then method on the promise returned by this fetch api so let's see this let's go to the network tab again and let's first make it online let's reload the page let's go to console let's save the changes here okay so this time when i click on this display country button right now we are online so this time it this fetch api will return a resolved promise and the first callback function will be executed so let's click on this button and the first callback function got executed and it logged the response which this promise has returned the data which this promise has returned as you can see here now let's go to network tab again let's set it to offline let's go back to our console tab let's clear the console and now let's click on this display country and this time a rejected promise will be returned by this fetch api so let's click on this display country a rejected promise is returned so this promise is rejected and in when the promise is rejected the second callback function of then method will be executed okay and this promise this rejected promise has returned the error which we are storing in this error parameter and then we are alerting that error in our error in our web page and that's what you can see here the same error which we saw in the console now is being displayed here so here we have handled that error and when i click on ok you won't see that error in the developer console anymore and that is because we are handling that error now all right so the first way to handle a rejected promise is by including another callback function for this then method now before i show you another way of handling the rejected promise let me make one thing clear 
here we are passing two callback functions to this then method right so this then method will now handle both resolved and rejected promise but let's say you only want to handle resolved promise in that case we can pass only one callback function to this then method and we have seen that earlier now let's say you only want to handle rejected promise in that case for this then method you can pass null all right and this time only the rejected promises will be handled okay so let's save the changes let me go to network tab let's set it back to online all right now if i click on this display country button for you know right now we are online so when i click on this display country button this fetch api will return a resolved promise but we are not doing anything for that resolved promise because here for for this then method we have passed first parameter as null so if i go to console and if i click on this button nothing will happen okay so we are not handling the resolved promise we are only handling the rejected promise in this case right if i set it to offline again and let's go to console let's click on the display country we are getting this error okay so we are handling the rejected promise but we are not handling the resolved promise because we are passing null for the you know as a first parameter for this then method all right so if you want to handle only rejected promise then you can pass the first parameter of this then method as null and if you want to handle only resolved promise then you can pass only single callback function to this then method but if you want to handle both resolved and rejected promise then you can pass two callback functions to this then method the second way to handle a rejected promise is by using the catch method of this promise okay so let me remove this second callback function from here so this then method should only handle the resolved promise and to handle the rejected promise we are going to make use of the catch method of the promise okay so let's say promise dot catch okay and to this catch method let's pass a callback function which will be executed when the promise is rejected and a rejected promise will return an error and that will that we will get inside the parameter of this callback function okay and what do we want to do here we simply want to log that error or let's say we want to alert that error okay so alert and let's use some text so error occurred and then let's append the error all right let's save the changes let's go to network tab again so network let's first set it to online let's refresh the page so here we have the display country button let's go to console and right now we are online so this time this fetch api will return a resolved promise and when it returns a resolved promise the callback function of this then method will be executed so let's click on this display country the callback function of this then method will be executed and it will log the response which this promise has returned okay log the data which this promise has returned now let's set it back to offline all right and now when i click on this let's go to console tab let's clear this console and now when i click on this display country it, it will display an display an alert window with the error okay so this function this callback function of this catch method is now executed all right and it is displaying this error message here in the alert okay so if the promise is resolved then the first callback function of then method will be executed if the promise is rejected then the callback function of the catch method will be executed now let's see one more method of the promise so let's say promise and all the promises also have a finally method okay and this finally method also takes a callback function and this callback function gets executed in all the cases so the callback function of the finally method will always get executed no matter the promise is resolved or rejected all right so let's say console.log and let's say finally 
method or finally callback function executed right so this callback function will always get executed no matter the promise is rejected or resolved all right so let's save these changes here and let me show you let me prove you that this callback function will always get executed whether the promise is rejected or resolved so let's go to network tab all right let's set it to online first let me refresh the page let's go to console let's click on this display country so when i click on this display country this time the promise will be resolved so let's click on this display country it will log the data which we have you know which this resolved promise has returned and then the callback function of this finally method get executed and it logged this message all right now let's go to network let's set it to offline let's come back to console tab let's clear the console let's click on this display country this error message will occur so this alert window will be displayed and that means this callback function of this catch method has been executed okay let's click on ok and you will see that this finally the callback function of this finally method also get executed and it logged this message in the developer console all right so let me give some comment here so there are two ways to handle a rejected promise in our javascript code the first way is to include a second callback function in then method and the second way is to use the catch method and the finally method will always be called and its callback function always gets executed no matter the promise is rejected or resolved if you like this lecture like this video subscribe to this channel and share it with your friends